the effect of birth control on your heart. Here with advice is Dr. Amy Lau, director of the Cardio Metabolic Health and Hormones Clinic at Mass General Hospital. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, thanks for having me. As you know, some of the most popular options for women contain hormones. How do they work? That's exactly right. Many of the popular contraceptives that we have, including the birth control pill, vaginal ring, skin patch, injectables, etc., they contain hormones. Most contain both estrogen and progestin, although there are progestin-only contraceptive methods. And they largely work by preventing ovulation or the process by which mature eggs are released from the ovaries. Some also prevent fertilized eggs from implanting in the uterus, while others make it hard for the sperm to actually fertilize the egg. And one of the main advantages of hormonal contraception is that they're effective, but they must be used properly. Okay, you don't necessarily think of heart health. What are some of the hormones that are affecting a woman's heart in all of this? Great question. Um, while hormonal contraceptives are generally thought to be safe and effective for most women, estrogen-containing contraceptives can actually increase risk of blood clots, and they can also lead to a mild increase in blood pressure. For that reason, um, estrogen-containing contraceptive methods are usually not recommended for patients with a history of heart disease or women with uncontrolled high blood pressure. Progestin-only methods in general don't increase the risk of blood clots and are thought to be an alternative option for women who are at high risk for blood clots. Now, there is some evidence that hormonal contraception may influence cholesterol levels by increasing levels of the so-called bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and decreasing levels of the good HDL cholesterol. But there is no evidence to suggest that hormonal contraception actually increases risk of heart attacks. But overall, I think given these nuances, we recommend that all of our patients, especially those with heart disease or risk factors for heart disease, discuss the different contraception options with their doctors before choosing the right one for them. It is always good to be informed and aware of the risks. So if women are concerned, what questions would you suggest they ask their doctor? Well, I would just start with, you know, sort of a, an open ended question, like what are the options that are available to me? What are the pros? What are the cons? And given my uh, health history, what rec um, which option would you recommend for me? OK, thank you, Dr. Emily Lau, director of cardiometabolic health and hormones clinic at Mass General Hospital. Really insightful information helping folks uh, make the right decision.